Yesterday was... Uh... <laughs> To wake up 3.30 in the morning, felt like an all right night of sleep. Pinch black in the morning, uh, sitting there for like 45 minutes to get to the race venue. Jumping in the water, we had five minutes to do the warm up. Two minutes in, kind of just starting to vomit, like because of my throat was so bad. Didn't have the great best start either. Basically, the crossing is there. This is where the crossing is. The bridge up there, that's the crossing. Just before that, okay, I see. Yeah. Uh, very early, so it's very difficult to say anything about how the race is going yet. Uh, they have gather up a pack in like five in front, then Christian, there's a gap down to Christian. Uh, so Christian is riding solo. So we'll see now when they're passing here now. They're just passing now, and then we know a little bit uh, the distance. Uh. Three minutes! When thing doesn't go right in the beginning, you kind of have to do the right decision still. Like you have to focus on the nutrition, you have to do like take your time in the aid station to refuel the frame and like make sure that I can drink when I'm in the air position. Temperature is starting to get quite okay, hot, but it's very dry conditions, so that helps a lot. A little bit of wind as well, but it's gonna dry out people if they don't drink. Uh, I think I did a, a kind of great decisions there yesterday to kind of uh, wait for the stronger riders behind me and uh, also it helped me a little bit like mentally to, instead of just being there just focusing on like the front guys and trying to catch to catch to catch I could uh, stay in the group and try to just stay there and just be as relaxed as possible do the nutrition and then uh, just hope for the best on the run. I knew that the run course would be brutal. It's so hilly, it's so warm, and I was expecting to see people kind of fade off. And I thought that if I'm just doing the nutrition, hydration, pacing right, I still have a, a shot. So I tried to kind of have like the mantra, like the typical Ironman mantra, like it's not over before it's over. <laughs> I think the fact that I was chasing for so much of the day uh, make it kind of more kind of the joy like crossing the finish line. So I was uh, kind of in an unideal position for most of the race and I think that makes the joy and the relief and the happiness of kind of crossing that finish line and feeling that I really was pacing right. I was kind of executing the best of my capability on the day and it makes it great. <laughs> <laughs>